Can you tell me the statistics behind the rise in air gun incidents? Last year we had more, hundred, more than 890 calls about animals that have been injured or killed by air guns. We're very concerned because in the first five months of this year we'd had more than 400 calls. So we're concerned that there could be a rise this year and just want to hopefully warn people of the dangers and, and make people aware of the injuries that animals can suffer as a result. And there's been a rise in Wiltshire, just tell me specifically about those statistics. They're very high, sadly. So far to June this year, we've had 13 calls from people whose pets have been injured by air gun attacks. Last year, we had just three, so we are very concerned about that significant rise. What we tend to find is that cats and wild birds tend to be the biggest victim, possibly because they're out there on their own, possibly with no one to protect them. And we, we get calls from owners who've, cats have perhaps come home with an injury and on closer inspection by the vets, they'll find it's got pellets from an air gun from them. So we, we, we are back in the government's call for a license review and to possibly have people having licenses to own air guns, because it's something that, that we've been calling for for a long time and are very concerned about. We've seen animals sadly lose their life and, and recently seen cats that have perhaps had to have their legs removed by vets and, and other very, very serious injuries where the pellets have become embedded in them. So it's just, a, and also the fear from the animals. We, we speak to owners whose particularly cats don't want to leave the home after they've had such a horrible experience as well. So it, it's quite all encompassing and a real concern for us. If anyone is caught sort of harming an animal or using the air gun in an inappropriate way, what sort of penalty could they see? They can face up to six months in prison and recently the government have, have reviewed it and are bringing in legislation where people can face up to five years for prison. It really depends on the situation but our biggest concern really is for the well-being of animals as well and just making sure that, that no more animals are injured in this way if possible.